Asalaamu As Alaikum guys, welcome to Smarter Jannah. Today I'm gonna be checking bottled water. Smarter to Jannah. <laughs> Why? Because I've been recommended not to drink tap water. Why? Especially in London, we drink the water that comes from the Thames. Now in the Thames, it's just recycled poo water. Yeah, we poo it. And, and it goes in the toilet, it goes down, gets recycled, sewage and everything goes in there, then gets filtered, comes back to us, and then we do the same thing. Tablets get put down the toilet, loads of stuff, and water has good memory. Even if you filter it, obviously it's not going to get rid of everything. Bottled water on the other hand, is not 100% because it's plastic obviously. So we're in a bit of a, a rock and hard place. Nevertheless, I digress. What we're going to be doing now, we're going to be checking the pH first of the water. As you guys know, the intelligent from amongst you, the higher the pH, the more alkaline the water. The more alkaline the water, the more better it is for us. Why? Because if your body is alkaline, then that makes it less likely for cancer to attack your body. Fruit, veg, good sources of alkaline. Enough jibber jabber mate. If this is orangish reddish, that means it's acid and that's not good for us mate. If it is say blue, purple, that's good for us. If it's green, that means it's in the middle, does the job mate, yeah? It's not acid, it's not alkaline. Let's get started now, yeah? Here, Tesco's water, got the classic Volvic, Nestle, International Nestle. I've got some Evian right here mate, Aldi water, this is Scottish Islands, Buxton, this is Subway, water you can get from Subway, this is KFC, this is Smart Water, and this is Greg's water, and that's tap water. Boom. One, two, three, four. Stir. All right, this is, this is gone blue. It's eight. It's eight on the pH, which is good. It's alkaline. Let's have a little look at Volvic. One, two, three, and we do a four. We give it a bit of a whirly whirl. That's gone green. Neutral mate. Let's have a look at Nestle. Boom, 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 boom. That's alkaline, that's eight as well, that's good. Let's have a look at Evian. Is it gonna make us Livion? Let's check the pH. This is also alkaline. The winner so far is Nestle's Pure Life. Let's go to Audi. All right, that's, yeah, that's good. Scottish Islands, I'm expecting high things from the Scottish. Come on, don't let me down. Yay, that's it. Buxton, I like Buxton, but that's not necessarily a good thing. Come on, Buxton, don't let me down. Okay. Yeah, nice. It's as good as Scottish Islands. Let's have a look at the subway water. Not expecting high things from these guys. Okay, that's good as well. Alkaline. KFC water. Yeah. Not as good. That's quite similar to Evian. The worst one so far is Volvic, mate. Very disappointing. Smart water. Is it smart? No, it's not. Oh, okay. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. That's actually neutral. Greg's. That's decent. That's decent. Let's have a look at my tap water. All right, that's decent. That's decent. That is kind of alkaline. I think most of the Buxton's, Highlands, Audi, and Nestle. Yeah, these these four are probably the most alkaline. 
What we're going to do, we're going to try another test. Now this other test is me measuring TDS and is measuring the conductivity of the water. In other words, what sort of chemicals are in the water? Most of these chemicals are of course not good for us. That's why the TDS and the conductivity needs to be as small as possible. With that being said, some they uh, write on the side that they have certain chemicals like calcium, magnesium, which is good. But again, the best water is the one that's closest to zero. Let's measure the first one. 136 ppm. Let's measure the conductivity now. Let's have a look. 272. Let's have a look at the Volvic. All right, Volvic's 80. And the UC 158. Let's have a look at the Nestle. So this is 171 ppm. Let's have a look at the conductivity. 342. Now it's time for Evian. Let's check the ppm. 271 ppm. Let's check the conductivity. 542. That is terrible, mate. Let's move on to Audi. 134 ppm. And 268. Wasn't that bad. In fact, it's second place. That's how not bad it was. Let's go to the Scottish Islands, mate. I hope for these guys. Don't let me down, please. 158, guys. Let's check the conductivity. 316. Let's have a look at Buxton's now PPM. Boom. Ooh. 222. 222 dangerous mate. So have a look at the conductivity is 444. Not very good mate. Not gonna lie. Second worst one. After Evian. Disappointed with Buxton. Not gonna lie. So have a look at Subway. 374. That's the worst one so far. 774 is the conductivity. We have a new leader. Subway. Ridiculous. All right, let's have a look at the KFC one. Finger licking. Well, I'll be the judge of that. 306 ppm. That's not very finger licking at all, mate. Conductivity 612. Let's move to smart water. Is it really smart? I'll be the judge of that. That's pretty decent, mate, not gonna lie. 199 and the conductivity is 398 let's look at Greg's 113 we have a new one in second place let's have a look at the conductivity 346 let's have a look at tap water now 316 that's the second worst one mate 632 that is second worst one after number eight. Subway one. Redonkulous. The best one that we have is Volvic. Take a bow, mate. Good job. I'll have some of that. Even though I put... Nah, I'm not because I put that machine in there. Yeah, I'll have it later from the bottle. Number two, let's have a look at the results. Will the pure water please stand up? Please stand up. It is Greg's. Audi still water. That's number three. All right, guys, with regards to conductivity, number one, of course, you got Volvic again. Audi and number three, you've got Scottish Highlands. In fact, in a paper that I saw, they said conductivity is probably more reliable. I don't know mate, I'm just a scientist, but I'm a dodgy version. So Subway is worse than my tap water, coca-cola.co.uk. 
Yeah, Coca-Cola company. Why am I not surprised mate? It's Coca-Cola again. But look into water a bit more and make your own judgment of course. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And until next time guys. Assalamu alaikum.